Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about how to do a free background check in Arizona. Uh, so uh, to get started, visit ArizonaPublicRecords.org. Uh, there should be a link in the description you can click on or just type this into your browser. On the home page, you will find a large database of public data, uh, a large list of public databases available. Not necessarily all of them are going to be free, but I'm going to just go over general uses when it comes to background checking. So let's say, for example, uh, let's say you wanted to hire a contractor to do a big job for you and you're going to spend a lot of money and you wanted to make sure everything was legit. For instance, you can come down and check on his license. Is his license legit? Is there any issues with the licensing? Maybe look at the history. How long has he had it for? Things like that. Maybe you also want to check court information and see if there is any civil lawsuits, financial types of lawsuits that are related to his work. You want to make sure everything is legit. You want to check somebody's history before, for instance, you go spend a lot of money on something. So there are many ways to do a background check and you have lots of free uh, databases that you can use um, without paying any money. So I'm going to, so there are many different situations. I'm not going to get into every single one, but I will go uh, into a major one and that's criminal records it's pro it's uh, probably the most sought after record type uh, when it comes to uh, background checks so if you hover over additional records I want you to just select inmate search and we're gonna walk through how a criminal record is uh, created so typically a person would need to be arrested and uh, charged with uh, with some kind of a crime and so that happens uh, that first arrest record is initiated at the county level typically so they will get taken to a local jail they will get booked fingerprinted picture will get taken they're not even necessarily in the court system yet because they haven't seen a judge and so you can research that information at the county level so for instance like Maricopa County here uh, if you click on um, on their uh, on the uh, there's an inmate uh, database you can actually look and see what's what's happening uh, what charges the person has uh, descriptions things like that now after the person so this can be researched for free so this is one tool is just figuring out the actual arrest then after the arrest there will be a court date scheduled and so what you want to do now is you want to see what happened at the court so it, they will see a judge and the judge will uh, determine, or maybe a jury, will determine if they're guilty or not guilty. And so you have different court systems within the state of Arizona, anything from the Supreme Court to the Municipal Court. And each of these courts has a particular job. They do work with particular cases. So in general, you're going to be looking at the Superior Court, uh, Justice of Peace Court, and the Municipal Court. And they each do their own job. And... Uh, one of them, like for instance, municipal, it's pretty much traffic, things like that. And then justice of peace, they'll do some criminal, very limited civil, um, minor crime type of things. And then of course the superior will do things from felonies to evictions to things like that. So you, uh, in each of these uh, courts, you can potentially access the database and see what happened after the arrest. And a lot of these systems can be accessed for free whether at the county level or the state will have a centralized system that you can use. So this is another uh, un this is another set of databases that you can use free of cost when you're doing your background check. And I'm just specifically talking about the criminal record. You can utilize m lots of different uh, public databases, just depending on what type of research you're doing. Uh, so going back to inmate uh, searches again here, uh, now, after the person gets sentenced, let's say they get sentenced for over 12 months. Uh, if it's under 12 months, they would be in jail. If it's over 12 months for something more serious, it would be uh, into the prison system. So uh, you can come down to the uh, Department of Corrections in Arizona. And actually, if you got a name, uh, you can actually look the individual up and it will give you the details regarding the arrest, um, how much time they're going to be spending, um, and why they're there. So 
And this database can also be researched for free. So you have quite a few options here uh, when it comes to doing a free background check in Arizona. Now, not everything is going to be free. Uh, keep that in mind. I'm just going over um, just some of the things you have available to you. And there's multiple pages here uh, that you can utilize, like warrant search, court records, criminal records. Uh, you definitely you can check the sex offender registry. Uh, you know, it, there's quite a few databases that you can look up free of charge, but not necessarily everything is going to be free. So keep that in mind. Uh, but you do have some options. And uh, another thing to consider is the name search box on top. Now, this isn't a free tool, but it's a great tool to use. It's uh, what, it, what it does is it pulls multiple databases, public records, court records, property records, criminal information, financial information, and also private databases like cell phone records, uh, records, previous addresses, things like that. But it doesn't just pull records from within the state of Arizona. It pulls records from other states. So it gives you like a nationwide look into somebody's background. Uh, and it's a single search system. So you're not bouncing around from database to database. It's pretty much instantaneous. So uh, one thing to consider is if let's say somebody had is living in Arizona now, but they have a criminal past in, say, California or Florida. If you're just researching Arizona records at the county or the state level, you're not necessarily going to see what happened in California or Florida. So this tool gives you an opportunity uh, to get that uh, big picture view regarding somebody's uh, previous addresses and, and potentially records in other states that they might possess. So it's a great tool to add to the arsenal. Uh, with that said, um, come on down to ArizonaPublicRecords.org and check out all the uh, all the public databases you have uh, to help you with your uh, free background check in the state of Arizona. Thank you.